Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Doom Eternal. This intro is for the YouTube crowd, as all of these video, all of these streams get uploaded to YouTube, which is great for people who might have missed it as well. So, if you are watching this on YouTube, thank you for stopping by. Consider coming over to Twitch, following me here, and of course, if you are on my YouTube channel. Hit a thumbs up on that video if you like what you're seeing, and subscribe to catch all of the streams that you miss on Twitch. Anyway, without further ado, in our last stream for Doom Eternal, uh, we found Dr. Samuel Hayden, or rather his corpse. Uh, we fought the Marauder, which was an annoying boss fight, but uh, kind of cool. Definitely more puzzly than the last boss fight. But now we are back on the Fortress of Doom, and I assume we're going to have a bit of an interaction with the corpse of Dr. Hayden, and also find out what we can do with the Crucible, which we also picked up from his lab. So, without further ado, let's get started. Ahoy, Ryloth! It is great to see ya! I caught a little bit of your uh, your big boss fights in your Final Fantasy uh, 14 stream. That looked pretty neat. Definitely looked pretty neat. The Fortress of Doom is what this is. Yes, uh, we are slowly reconfiguring as we just updated our OBS, uh, so we are also testing audio levels, so let me know if the game sounds good, if I sound alright, if one of us is you have now destroyed overly of overpowering the other. Without the priests, the demons will not consume Earth as the car maker had planned. But there is still one priest left, and I have lost his signal. I can no longer locate him. Dr. Hayden will be able to find him. Dr. Hayden has transplanted himself into your ship's mainframe. The architecture is similar to his own. Oh, that doesn't this sound way. Final priest is hiding in certain prime. The card maker does not want him to be easily found. The only functional slipgate to Sentinel Prime is in the core of Mars, in the lost city of Hibeth. Oh boy, back to Mars. I have marked its location for you, but getting there will take time. There is no easy way to access the core of Mars. There are no known pathways that lead there, Dr. Hayden. The BFG-10,000. Designed by Dr. Samuel Hayden as part of the anti-demonic defense grid. I understand. Searching the coordinates to the VFG-10,000 now. That you looks like a just big effing gun. Hole into the surface of Mars. Watch me. The portal is ready. Oh, glad to hear we sound good. And work was work was actually fine. Uh, we're currently fundraising for a humane society so it's uh definitely work that makes me feel happy because we there for all the aminals now i have sentinel plugs to use before we go off back to mars uh so let's go see if we can open some more stuff here in the uh doom fortress of solitude with its cool artwork and oh Another soundtrack is going to go there. Actually, that's right. That reminds me. We've got all this ka-chunk, ka-chunk, ka-chunking. I want my old Doom 3 music playing. God damn it. I haven't found a better track. Yes, I am still working with them. And uh, very happy to be doing so. Oh. That bass line gets me every time. Every time. I, ooh, Sentinel Crystal. Okay, we're opening this. Oh, perfect. I have four batteries. I can open both of these doors. Kachunk. 
Everything is so ka-chunky in this game. I love it. Oh, All right. What do I want to put on this? You know what? I could use more armor and having a further loot magnet definitely helpful. And I hope your day has been going good uh, post Final Fantasy in Ryloth. Oh, two cent. Ooh, this was a good part of the uh, fortress to explore that I hadn't bothered to come down to. I did. So... You know what? Screw it. I got the armor for blood. Let's go for health for blood. Or with another armor up. So that'll be good. That is a considerable upgrade. From 75 armor to 125. I can dig that. And now that everything is spent... Well, I guess before we go. Oh, God! <laughs> I'm alive. I don't need to go down there. But I do want to check out my room over here. The toy collection. The toy collection's filling out quite nicely, actually. Gun collection. Is there anything you can actually do with this? No. Just this. What are we doing on that? 5 of 14. Okay. Well, onward to glory! Shooting demons in the face! That's what we do. Phobos, Knight of Mars, Beater of Ass. Be a hitter, babe. Woo! Mars Core. With the help of Samuel Hayden, the final Hell Priest has been located on Sentinel Prime, a city from your past. The only, the only known path to this now accursed place is through the dimensional gateway hidden in the core of Mars, wherein the lost city of Hebeth resides. The journey there will take time that you can't afford to waste, a dilemma which calls for a more direct approach. That's a lot of Keiko demons. Oh my god. It's him. It is him. I mean me. Corporate says we should let them through. What? Why? Because corporate is all Satanists. Ooh, 
Is that a red key card? I get to start with it? <laughs> oh god, I love it. Hey! Who are you? You can't be here. See, like, the people who made Duke Nukem Forever should take note. Ooh, new gun. Should take note. This is how you do old-school game comedy and old-school shooters without coming across as feeling dated in every sense of the word. Do I get to shoulder mount that? The source of the BFG-10,000 should be interesting as well. Looks like an upgraded plasma rifle that I got. Definitely. Oh, wait a minute. You're one of those. Bye! Whoa, what the? Oh, hi! Bye! Alright, so we're going there. So let's see, what do we got first off? It's not showing me a lot of secrets, which is telling me that this is going to be one of those big ass levels. We've got at least two secret, uh, secret combat trials, as well as a sentinel gate here. So three sentinel plugs. Two soundtracks, another cheat code, three toys, four tokens, two runes, and another sentinel crystal, and two codexes. One of my challenges. Big bada boom! Big bada boom! Chicken! Good! Kill 40 demons with a very big gun. I can do that. I think I know what they mean. Disarmament. Destroy the three cannon arm weak points on Mancubi. Easy. And find the Slayer Key. I was planning to do that anyway. Mind myself my weapon challenges, because it's been a few days. I just need to kill, blow up one more Prowler like I just did. And kill at least two demons with the Heat Blast 30 times. So I want to be using that Plasma Rifle. And seriously? There's like no nothing to collect in this area? Ow. Oh my god! This is a much more powerful plasma rifle. charged again. So 
is going to teleport me somewhere around the ring, I guess. Secret there, and there's a challenge room on that side. Oh, the challenge room is that side. Take your legs! Yeah, there we go. Got that challenge. Oh, the room already, huh? Still not switching my runes. that help on Fucked on that 
Hell Punch. Warning. BFG 10,000 is firing. Eat it! Warning. BFG 10,000 is firing. Sentinel battery coming up, kind of, it's below that, and another challenge. Warning, BFG 10,000 is fired. Good to know. What the? What are you? Whatever you are, you're firing lost souls. <laughs> that was kind of awesome. Oh, hi! Bye! fun little romp there. Okay, so that leads me down, but does it lead me back? It's whatever that secret is over there, I'm wondering. Warning. BFG 10,000 is firing. Okay, 
so there's going to be a secret and sentinel token. Before the next gate. All in here. Looks of it. Ah! I see. Yes, sneaky. That's that. And the next thing is past the next checkpoint. While we're at it, though. Getting there. Seven more with the heat blast. Super shotgun reload speed increased by 33%. And that allows me to start learning flame analogs. So. Kill 50 demons with the super shotgun while using the meat hook. Okay. Cool. And we got six points here. So I can actually... Do I care? No. refills on glory kills. You know what? I'll max out the grenade first. Are either of these worth it? it? Takes less time to cool down after firing and from frost. You know what? We'll do that. Because I can start using that if I want. Like... In my opinion, the rest of the exploration fundamentals and other one are inconsequential, really. Take me higher. would be it. The BFG 10,000. Originally established as a mining and communication relay, the UAC outpost on Phobos began immediate expansion following the destruction of the Argent facility on Mars. The UAC board of directors, intent on, re on retaining their monopoly of the Red Planet and its surrounding airspace, issued the construction of an expansive defense platform using technology derived from the BFG-9000. The design plan called for a massive particle cannon to be built in the orbiting moon. The BFG-10000 is the largest man-made weapon platform ever conceived and wields enough firepower to defend against even the most sophisticated of capital-grade FTL cruisers in existence or against the eventual potentiality of a space-bound demonic threat. Good to know. Okay. So it looks like we're about to jump into the lower part of the BFG itself. Oh, hi! succeed.
about to see him try. That control pod contains the energy source of the BFG-10000. I'm wondering for you now. G9000 is capable of killing most demons with a single shot. Press R2 to launch a colossal ball of energy that will that will generate deadly tendrils as it passes nearby demons. Well, <laughs> that'll do for that, Pilgrim. So we're going to have a something in there. As well as a big fight. The emergency exit portal should take you directly to the Mars surface facility. Oh. <laughs> yeah. When I saw that challenge, I had a feeling that's what it meant. Yeah, I think we kind of fucked that planet up a little bit, eh? Um... Are we here? Whoa. I guess we are. We're on our way. There's challenge fight there, secret, extra life, secret. Over there, there's another challenge, another secret, and the hidden thing. So we'll probably be coming down, coming down there and then over. Okay. You can use the facility escape pods to get down to the Mars core, but we have no way of reaching it from here. some pretty epic level platforming that they've decided to throw into their Doom game. We're making it. Seem to be doing a pretty good job. Hmm. Am 
I overthinking this? No, because I'll probably come in around there and then up. Welcome to hell. Brought to you by your friends at the UAC. <laughs> Return. These info the bots get me every time. Oh, there's Buff Totem, huh? Where? Where? I don't see it over there. Leaving y'all alone until I find that. There it is. Well, at least we know where the buff totem is. You pray for his return. The Slayer. The Savior of Good. So 
we got two ways. We got this way. This is still locked. So, both of these things are right here. time. I need to chainsaw some fools. Alright, yeah, and the way leads to... Demon. All right, and then the next is right there. Access to surface gun bridge granted. Manual loading initiated. Oh, that is really? a weapon, not a teleporter. It looks like it'll still work. See Jessica in HR and sign up now for the UAC Mortally Challenged Blood Drive. Be generous. Give your blood. Give all of your blood. <sighs> Alright, so I think this actually maxes me out on runes. Required in a single save slot. Oh, that was deadly. I can't do anything with two and one. The Ion Catapult is designed to use only approved UAC ammunition. <laughs> well, today it can do something else. Alright, loading sequence. Fire. Three, two, one. Cool. 
That was a good start. Okay. So we got... To go that way. And I'm gonna have to remember to do that again soon. There's my uh, next cheat. And that way leads to Praetor token and another secret. But it is looking like there is going to be a little bit of dinner. So I think I'm going to take a little pause here before we uh, get all the way down to uh, Hebeth and uh, have a bit of a snack have a bit of a smoke, then I'm gonna come home, come back, do a late night stream to finish off this level. And, uh, shout out to you, Ryloth, and, uh, to everyone else who tuned in to catch a bit of this live. And, uh, yeah, I'll be back soon, and I'll see y'all in the next stream. <laughs>